Simplifying fractions with i in the denominator is pretty easy. The concept behind this is what you really have to understand is that i cannot be in a denominator. Uh, it's not legal, it's not permitted, it's basically you're saying take any number in the whole world and divide it by something imaginary, something that's in your head that doesn't really exist. That doesn't make any sense at all. So the thing that you have to keep focus and the tool that's necessary is that if you have an i, raise it to the power of 2, you'll get negative 1. So let's just go about doing that. You take this and times it by i and this and times it by i. That way we'll be able to get i squared. So you have 5i plus 3i squared, and then you have 2i squared. Now, this will simplify down to 5i plus 3 times negative 1 and 2 times negative 1, which then gives you negative 3 plus 5i. Notice how I wrote the negative 3 first. i's are always put at the very back of a polynomial, and this becomes negative 2. Now, most professors and most teachers won't leave your negatives like this. They don't like negatives in the denominator, so what they're going to do is they're going to divide the entire denominator and the numerator by negatives. So what happens is all the signs get changed. 3 minus 5i over positive 2. And that's how you simplify the problem.